punches in boxing? Are they made or are they born? I'm talking about knockout punches. Uh, you get in boxing, you get knockout punches like Mike Tyson, uh, Gerald McLennan, Nigel Penn, Rocky Marciano, Lennox Lewis, there's a lot more. They are, there's loads of boxers who, could, who had the knockout punches. They, they connect uh, the opponent with one punch and it's a knockout clean. They knock their opponents out clean. Now, how do you do that, guys? Do you, is this something you have to train for? Of course you've got to train for it. But you know, the truth of the matter is, big knockout punches like that, like the, those guys I've mentioned, they are born, they are not made. And I know many people will disagree with me, and that's fine. You can comment below and you can let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. Look at young Mike Tyson. When he was 15 years old, he started knocking out opponents already. Now why, if punches are made and not born, why are they not, isn't every heavyweight boxer at 15 or 16 knocking out opponents? You know what? Let me give you another example. It's not going to be a long video. Quick, quick, in and out, boom, bam. Like a knockout punch, boom, out. Look at 100 meter sprinters. Athletics, uh, you might you might know what athletics is. I'm sure you know. If you don't know, let me know. 100 meter sprinters. You can either sprint or you can't sprint. And that's a fact. No matter how well you are built, I promise you this. You can be built like a, like a supermodel you can build, build like a super athlete if you can't sprint 100 meters if you can't if you're not a sprinter then you're not a sprinter it's a fact <clears throat> when i was in primary school i started grade one i think i remember i was six years old six years old every year for for three years i, co I competed in the 100 meter events sprints but i was no good i was no good I wasn't overweight. I wasn't. I was. I was athletic. I was uh, uh, doing sports. I was active. But no matter what I did, I could not beat these guys. There were other guys, uh, kids running fast, outrunning me. But eventually, I took part in long distance running, and I did well there, and I won some medals. But with 100 meter sprints, I had, I couldn't. And it's a fact, guys. Please believe me. It's a fact. You are either a puncher or you're not a puncher. And no matter how, how, how good your technique is, you can improve your technique. And you must improve your technique. And it's going to help you. And you can do some weight training. You can do some strength endurance training, like chopping down a hammer uh, on a big tire, a big, big tractor tire. That, that, that works for uh, strength endurance, which you need in boxing, which is excellent. And it will, it will increase your physically, physical strength a little bit. Your power might increase a little bit, but if you're if you if you're not a knockout puncher, it's it's one of those things, guys. You, you're not you're not going to be a knockout puncher. But please, if you're a boxer and you're watching this, don't give up hope. Continue to work on your strength, because that strength that strength endurance is going to help you in the fight, especially a championship fight. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you again. Cheers.